This is a short video on the fabric manipulation technique of ruffles. I'm going to show you how to create these basic ruffles, then I'm going to show you how to do some different types of ruffles, and then how you might explore using those on your work. The first thing you need to do is make lots and lots of strips of fabric. They can be any width you choose, it depends how big you want your ruffles to be. You can use them like this, or equally you can cut them on the bias and use them like this. The bias ones will tend to be a bit more floppy and wavy. So whatever you choose to use is fine. The first thing we need to do is look at how to set up our machine. In order to ruffle or gather the fabric, you need to use the longest stitch length you have on your machine. On my machine, you can see here, it's a 5 mil. I think anything slightly smaller than that maybe won't work as well, so try and go for at least a 5 or 6 mil setting. Now for this type of ruffle here, I'm going to place my strip under my pressure foot and I want my line of stitching to be in the middle. Initially, because we need to fix the stitches at the front, I'm just going to turn my machine on and just do a few stitches and then go backwards that will seal my stitches and then carry on I'm just guiding my fabric so the stitch is roughly in the middle but don't worry it doesn't have to be accurate of your strip. You don't want to go backwards and forwards, you don't want to seal this stitch. So I'm going to release it and then just cut the fabric threads so that I've got a tail. Now as you can see I've got quite a long piece of fabric but once it's all gathered up it's going to be a lot shorter so do take that into account. So with the two threads I'm just going to take one of them and I'm going to wrap that round my finger and what I'm going to do is just gently start to gather that fabric so I'm pulling it over one of the other threads and if you just take your time ease gently those gathers towards the end of your strip if you do it too quickly you have a tendency to maybe snap the threads so just take your time, just do it a little at a time. Until so you're happy with the effect that you've got. Once you're roughly at the size and density of, that you think you're going to need, the best thing to secure the end now is just to tie a knot. That will stop it coming undone and keep it where you've finished. And I'm just going to snip those threads again. So now I'm going to even out that gather so that hopefully all the way along the line you'll make it look as even as you want. So you can see that length of fabric really only made that length of ruffle. Now as I said earlier, you have got different types of ruffles you can create. So depending on where you stitch on your strip, you'll make a different effect to your ruffle. So this is a curved stitch I did. And then once I've sewn it on, you can see how that makes a different design to your ruffle shape. I have another one here which I did a zigzag line for on the strip and then I've sewn this on in a swirl but again you can see how different the edges of that ruffle will look. And lastly I've done a repeat pattern 
this is just my repeat pattern you can have a different repeat pattern if you like but again hopefully you can see how very different the edges to that ruffle is and again I've sewn that as a detail in a big swirl so it's up to you how you use them what type you use and how you sew them onto your work all the instructions and information about ruffles you will find on the fashion canvas page um, on our technical site and in the workshop uh, section you'll find fabric manipulation and the one ruffles will be underneath and that's your step-by-step -step guide and that gives you all the information about all the different types and how to use and do your gathers so that's there for your information as well now I might have sewn lots of my ruffles and you will need probably quite a few um, more than you probably anticipate now here I'm going to add some of my ruffles onto my section of garment this is just a front here and I would start by pinning at the top and pinning in place where I wanted my ruffle to go and then the idea is that you sew down the center line of the strip to attach onto the garment if you have a section at the bottom that's longer than where you want to do you can then turn that round and make it go back up the other way the thing is to try and keep your fabric of your ruffles as close to each other as you can and that will create a nice dense design obviously if you wanted to do swirls and things then you wouldn't have to do that but so I would have sewn that one on place first and then I'm sewing this one as close to that one as I can possibly get it then the next one that I was going to attach I could start where that one ended and you'd start there and then you could just pin that in place sew that and then continue that round when it got to the top trying to make sure everything lined up as close as you possibly could so to demonstrate that I've got another section here where I've really sewn the small ruffles very densely together so on the back you can see how close some of the stitching has gone and then so once you've sewn one in place so again just down the middle of the ruffle then the next one I've tried to make that as close to the next one as I can and I just repeat that so that I keep going until you create this very dense layering I quite like using this dense layering because you can then sculpt into that so if I had much larger ruffles that were, were wider and shorter ones and I wanted to create shape then you can literally just snip with your scissors and you can snip in to them and sculpt the shape that you want so on this one if I wanted it to start very very short and then I just wanted it to go into larger layers then I could do that so it's another way of creating really interesting shapes um, to uh, have an explore with your work so I hope that gives you some ideas of how you might use this manipulation technique of ruffles <laughs>